Another Greenville County school off to a great start. The Woodmont Wildcats looking to begin the season 4-0 for the first time since 2008. They made the trip up to Wade Hampton on Friday. We pick it up in the first quarter. Juju Stewart takes the handoff from the three and finds the end zone. Woodmont strikes first. They're up 8-0. Later on the first, Wildcats looking to strike again. JV on Hawthorne takes the handoff for an eight-yard run to the house. The Wildcats go up 16. Woodmont wins it 65-29. That's a single-game school record point total for Woodmont. Christchurch outlasting rival St. Joe's last Friday, 28-22 in overtime. The Cavaliers at home again this week against the Asheville School. A huge test for Christchurch. The unbeaten Blues have outscored their opponents 165-16 in their first three games. The Cavaliers defense making a nice stop there on the Blues' first drive of the game. And Christchurch's offense getting something going in the first. Check this play out. Big first down pickup here by Luke Bohmhofer. The Cavaliers offense scores 20 points by halftime. The Cavs lead 20 to 13 at the break. And the Christchurch defense able to protect that lead in the second half. Christchurch wins it 48 to 20. Abbeville in the low country facing Woodland, a rematch of an early season game. The Panthers won 56-0 last year. Abbeville strikes first. Antonio Harrison to the sideline, and he is gone. 35 yards to the house. Panthers quickly up 7-0. Woodland with the ball now. Hands off to Jaden Gardner, but Abbeville pops it out, and the Panthers pick it up. This one all Abbeville. The Panthers dominate. They win it 52-7. Emerald hosting Broome. The Vikings have dropped three straight. The Centurions coming off a loss to Indian land last week. Third quarter, Emerald ball. The Drake is Tolan finds Ian Ryan over the middle. Ryan takes it down the sideline. Nobody going to catch him. How about that play? That's a 75-yard touchdown. Emerald's up 28-14. to Later in the third, Broom has the ball now. Dylan Ramirez hands it off to Jameer Drewberry for the 14-yard score. That cuts the Emerald lead to 28-21. to But Emerald's offense too much for Broom in this one. Emerald wins it 41-28. to A few more scores to get to. Hart County beat Westside 63-28. to And Southside Christian dominating Calhoun Falls 49-0, the final score of that one. Hillcrest off to a 1-2 start this year, but losses to Greenwood and Spartanburg were both one-score games. Home in Simpsonville Friday, hoping to even out their record against a Boiling Springs team still looking for their first win. Hillcrest quarterback Bennett Judy set the school record with 425 passing yards earlier this month against the Vikings. In the second quarter, Bulldogs punting, but it's blocked by the Rams defense, and that's a score. Rams up 14-0. In the third quarter, Boiling Springs fumbles and the Rams recover again. That's a safety. Hillcrest increases its lead. The Rams offense also showing out in this game. Hillcrest wins it 37 to nothing. To Sky 4 now, Berea hosting Blacksburg in the second quarter. Blacksburg has the ball on the 48-yard line. We pick it up there. Isaac Moreland, Westmoreland tosses to Sam McSwain. McSwain gaining ground, but then the ball comes loose. A nice play by Berea's defense, but they don't get any points after this turnover. Berea holds on to win it, though, 23-20. to BHP hosting Woodruff. Wolverines back in action after missing a few weeks due to COVID-19 concerns. First quarter, Woodruff back to punt. It's a high snap. Noah Gaspar chases it, but Jemias Glenn scoops it up, and BHP wins it 29-21, to the final score of that game. That'll do it for week four of Friday Night Hits. All of our games and scores available on our website at WIFF4.com. See you next week.